Hey everyone, it's Sandra and I have been working on my um, gratitude journal and I got caught up with today's date actually the 11th and so I'm going to go ahead and um, show you what I've been doing. So I've already showed you these few pages but I'll go ahead and just flip through. So there's November 1st and 2nd and all my title, not title, but my date cards are going to look like that. Just keeping it really plain and simple and I really am enjoying it this way. It's so much nicer not to have to worry about the only embellishment I've done is a few little um, enamel dots here and there and a little like a stamp here and there. And that's it. Nothing else too fancy. Oh, I think this is where I stopped last time. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's get started. So on November 5th, it's hard to do this book, but okay, on November 5th, uh, Gabby was home and it was really, really quiet in her room. I might have told you guys this story. I'm sorry if I did. But um, it was really quiet and I didn't know what she was doing so I got up to check on her. And um, I went into her room and I was like, Gabby, why'd you do that? And she was like, because I wanted to make snow. And she made me laugh so much and I was just wrote down here how thankful I was for that day for Gabby's imagination and stuff. So, And then this is where I believe I needed to start. So November 6th, um, and it's this is a snapshot of my mom's and um call that day and there was actually way more than this but um basically she was trying to learn uh how or to log on wait, wait she installed the instagram app and she was trying to register and do all that stuff and so she kept calling me um well first we were just talking in the morning then she'd call me and then call me again and call me again <laughs> It was just so funny. She made me laugh. But on November 6th, I put that I was thankful for my mom because we do have a really great relationship and we talk almost every weekday. I'm thankful for Nana. Oh, for Nana. Yeah. And um, anyway, so she did get the app installed and she's on there. So it was a fun morning. It was just so funny. But we do talk every day for 20, 30 minutes a day. And we tell each other quite a bit. You know, it's just, it's good to have, you know, she was definitely a parent growing up. But now that I'm older, she's more of a friend. You know what I mean? Obviously, I still respect her and obey her and everything like that. But she has truly become a friend. So, um, yeah, so that's what I put for November 6th. And then for November 7th, I took a picture of this. And what it is, it's chorizo, which is like a Mexican sausage with, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, potatoes. Like fried potatoes, I guess. And you can mix them together with egg. And I have a tortilla and some coffee. And so basically for November 7th, I was thankful for breakfast for dinner because I so did not feel like cooking that day. And um, my husband likes this and I think the kids had already eaten something. And so we made breakfast for dinner and it was simple, fast, and so, so yummy. So I was thankful for that. <laughs> and then on day 8, which was Friday, um, I used a So Thankful stamp, which is from... Mom? What, baby? Jay. Seeing Shay? Mm -hmm. I think she's in the cradle in your room. Under the blanket. I did. Yeah, go look. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't find it. But it's a Technique Tuesday one that I used um, right there for the So Thankful right here. And I just stamped it with the gray, with the soft granite here. And then right here I just put that, um, it says, Today I'm so very thankful for Isabel's giving spirit. This morning we got donuts before school and as we were driving to Christmas. Okay baby I don't know. Can I do this video really fast? Thank you. Um, we were driving to Christmas room and she asked if she could take one for her teacher and the teacher assistant. And I was so proud of her for thinking of somebody, you know, other than herself. And she got Gabby to want to do the same thing just by her hearing it. So she's definitely leading by ex example and she really does have a giving heart. Um, and it just makes me so happy and so proud of her when she does think of others when we do things like that. So hopefully she keeps that forever, that giving spirit. For November 9th, um, which was actually this past Saturday, I took this snapshot of my laptop because I was watching Criminal Minds. I had two episodes to catch up on. And um, I have my project life there because for our SNL Sunday Challenge, we were um, doing a um, 
one month of Project Life because we're behind a couple months. So I was working on that most of the day and um, watching Criminal Minds and then watching some other shows. And anyway, so to that day, I was thankful for my husband taking the girls out for a few hours in the morning. And I put, um, <laughs> it was time to catch up on Project Life. Oh, so happy to be alone. So Richard ended up taking the girls out for several hours. I don't think they came home till like 3 or something that afternoon. And I had a great quiet day at home. Which was very much needed and very much appreciated. So, And I put this card there. I think I like who I'm becoming. So I like that card because, you know, we all change. And I know over the past year or two, I feel like I've changed way for the better. So, um, yeah, so I really do like that card. And then right here I put the blessings of uh, November 10th, which was yesterday. And this is a picture of Isabel uh, ready for church. And she has her own style and she just tickles me. I mean, she, I put right here, I put today, I'm so thankful for Isabel and her love for trends, fashion, and style. She's only seven years old, but she loves to watch YouTube makeup tutorials. She dresses really trendy. She's also, uh, is so adorable, especially when she talks about water lines, contouring, and lip gloss. Uh, I put gotta love her. Because seriously, this little one, she'll like want to do your makeup and she's like, I'm going to contour your cheeks and your nose. I don't even know what she's talking about. And then she's like, mom, your water line. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and she'll have to tell me what it is. It just tickles me. But for her being so little, she's just so into that stuff. And I just love it. She's definitely got her own style and she's so cute about it. And I just love it. So that's my gratitude journal so far. Um... Oh, and then today, actually, hello, I forgot. Today's November 11th, and I snapped that picture as a screenshot from, uh, on Google. I just, uh, I searched, uh, veteran images, and this was one of the images that came up, and I like it. And so, on these cards right here, I used the Project Life, I think the Season Edition or something like that. And these are actually from the 4th of July, but I never used them, so I thought they went perfect right here, too. And so, um, so I took that picture and it says thank you. And then right here it says that I'm thankful to all who have served to protect our country and our freedom. I'm also thankful for the families who give up their loved ones so that they can serve. Because I know it's got to be a hardship on their family, on their moms, dads, kids, you know, everybody who they leave behind. I know it's a hardship on them. So not only do I appreciate them, but the families that they leave behind for them you know, stepping up and doing all that, so, and, um, I know Carla and Jake, big thank you to you guys, you know, and for the people that you serve with over there, and, um, we really do appreciate it and love you guys, so, um, happy wow. Veterans Day to all who've served in the military, and that is it, that is my update to Project Life, and look, I'm keeping it simple, and I'm really proud of it, so, I mean, it looks like it's going to get a little bit fatter, but not bad, and I like it a lot. So, anyways, if you guys are doing a gratitude journal, I would love to see it, and just leave a comment below, and um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.